Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the Golden Opportunities Coaching YouTube channel and the Pro Wrestling Logic YouTube channel. Either way, uh, welcome to those of you who are new, welcome back to those of you seasoned veterans of what we do around here. What we do around here is discuss old school and new school wrestling. Uh, we got nearly uh, almost 2300 of these available for your listening pleasure. Wide variety of topics and other such. Would love to be of service to you in that way and connect on a deeper level. Um, but anyway, this is the AEW um, Dyna or, um, Rampage Report for the 7th of January, 2022. First uh, Rampage of the year. Excalibur, Ricky Starks, Chaz, and Chris Jericho are on commentary. Adam Cole defeats Jake Atlas, 939. Cole is now number one ranked wrestler in uh, AEW, which means he could be next for Adam Page. Match opens with a bunch of wrestling sequences. Cole misses dropkick early. Atlas catches a seated dropkick near fall. After that, Cole shoved him, shoves him to the floor after trying to attack from the ropes. On the floor, Cole and Atlas, um, uh, Cole sends Atlas into the ring post head first. Back in the ring, Cole nails Atlas with right hands. Atlas uh, starts to mount a comeback with a rolling forearm. Atlas sprung off the middle rope right into a backstabber from Cole. Cole then works a chin lock, and they go to split screen. Back from the break, Atlas hits a step-up run out and sends Cole to the floor. Atlas follows out with a tope dive and then comes back into the ring with springboard dropkick. Cole comes back with a urinal shoulder. And um, gets a near fall. Cole then catches Atlas with an enziguri. Atlas comes back with a rolling clothesline. Cole then hits a brain buster on his knee for a near fall. Uh, Atlas then comes back with a suplex and a shit out powerbomb for another near fall. Um, Atlas then, go, uh, then goes for springboard. Cole nails him with a super kick. Atlas then goes down with a real life knee injury. Off of the springboard, Cole sets up the Panama Sunrise. Atlas can't take the move on the knee, so Cole slaps his knee bar and Atlas taps out. Um, anyway, after the, after the match, Red Dragon comes out to celebrate with Cole. Cole comes out, cuts a quick promo, threatening another beating for Atlas. Orange Cassidy with a steel uh, chain, and the rest of best friends run around and they chase them off. Battle of the Belts, Coldy has been ruled unable to compete. As a result, his brother Dustin will battle Sammy Guevara to gun interim TV uh, TNT champion at Battle for the Belts tomorrow evening. In a pre-tape segment, Dustin and Sammy cut dueling promos about the situation. These are okay. Um, Tony Schiavone interviews Andrade um, uh, and then says, Why the little kid work for Sting? Shivani tries to clarify Sting and Darby Allen are friends, but Andrade wants to know what the price is for the little kid. Um, anyway, Hook defeats Aaron Solo with QT Marshall. Why is Aaron Solo on my TV? Send Hook section of fans in Newark. Um, Hook outworks Solo on the mat and then works him over with a bunch of body blows in the corner. Uh, Marshall then trips up Hook in the corner and Solo attacks his knees. Solo then goes for an Irish whip, but Hook counters into a Russian leg sweep. Hook then ties up Solo with an octopus hold on the mat. Hook then hits the uh, El Camaro suplex, but uh, Solo comes back with the jawbreaker. Hook then comes back with a shoulder capture suplex. After forearms across the chin, Hook then locks in the red run for a submission. Post-match, Marshall Makes the mistake of getting into it with Hook, and Hook drops him with a head and arm suplex. Hook is a future star for sure. Commentary table, Ricky Starks announced that he'd defend the FTW Championship against Matt Seidel, Battle of the Belts, on Saturday. Uh, he ch chooses Seidel to send a message to Dante Morton, pre-taped woman from last week's brawl. Talk about the brawl, and um, I guess that means those matches must continue. That's not exactly a good thing. Anyway... So we move to uh, Ruby, Soho, and Riho defeating Dr. Britt Baker and Jamie Hayter. Rebel 706 of this aired. Brawl match settles into Soho and Hayter. Hayter 
has tape on her right shoulder. Baker then gets tagged, takes a suplex from Soho. Rebel then uh, trips Soho, and Baker uses a distraction to set up double underhook. Suplex, Hater then slides into the ring with the knee strike. Soho then gets Baker in the near fall. Hater and Baker dominate Soho during the split screen. Uh, full ad break, Soho then comes, then catches Baker with a Saito suplex, making up the tag to Riho. Riho then gets a shotgun dropkick on Hater, takes her, takes her down with the, the, with the T-Hearth and the Tiger fake kick for near fall. Riho then lands off of Baker and uh, launches off of her and catches Hater with a, a bulldog for another near fall. She then goes for double stomp. Baker then pushes her off the top. Hater catches Riho with a with a backbreaker. Baker then follows up with a super kick for another near fall. Hater then catches Baker with a forearm and Riho rolls Hater up for the pinfall. Post match, Baker and Hater get into a brief shoving match before Baker leaves or is left alone. Excalibur makes the point Baker has never beaten Riho. Um, and then uh, Dan Snyder and uh, um, Dan Lambert rather, um, and Man of the Year cut a promo, uh, pointing out that maybe someone in the top five would be getting an interim TBT championship match with Sammy Guevara instead of Dustin Rhodes. Battle of the Belts, Dustin Rhodes, Sammy Guevara, interim TBT, TNT title. Dr. Britt Baker and Riho for the AEW Women's Championship and Ricky Starks, Matt Seidel for the FTW Championship. Dynamite on Wednesday, CM Punk and Wardlow, Powerhouse Hobbs, Dante Martin in, Ishida versus Serena Deeb. Main event promo time, 2.0 and Danny Garcia keep running their mouths. Uh, Eddie Kingston and Santana and Ortiz defeat Garcia, 2.0, 12.24, this aired. Uh, wild Brawl match starts during the break, rolling around backstage and the entrance ramp. Kingston grabs a bunch of weapons and there's um, guys dressed like old school polka dot Dusty Rhodes. Kingston smashes Garcia into an aluminum trash can and chokes him with a t-shirt. Ortiz then works over Matt Lee with a mad ball on the entrance ramp. Uh, Parker hits a pump kick on Santana. And against the guard, Duel drops some soap first on the ringside barricade. Match continues going to the floor. Uh, during the split screen break, Santana hits a pile driver on one of the 2.0 kids. They're pretty hard to tell apart most of the time. Ortiz works over the uh, other with a weapon in a sock. And then Garcia works over Kingston with a trash can lid. Santana hits a pop-up cutter on Parker and Santana Ortiz flapjack Lee. Santana then gets a near fall uh, uh, on flapjacking Lee and then gets a near fall on Garcia with a frog splash. Lee throws powder in Santana's face and hits a DDT for another near fall. Lee then hits a, a DDT on Ortiz. Garcia then nails Kingston in the, with the ring bell, but Kingston knocks him out with the... 2.0 suplex Kingston through the table and at ringside and Parker hits Ortiz with a low blow. Santana comes back and uses a steel chair on all he on all of the heels. Back in the ring, Garcia goes for one-on-one -on -one with Ortiz. Santana and Ortiz double team Parker and Santana fishes off Parker with the discus lariat to get the pinfall post-match. Lee low blows Kingston. Garcia hits Santana with a drop kick. Lee low blows Ortiz and Garcia and Lee uh, trap Kingston in the rope, start working him over, and they leave the commentary desk, and that's okay. Um, anyway, I mean, it's a pretty basic thing. We'll be back with more right after this.